Like, oi oi, this is Joseph Laws, aka Joe Laws, aka Bemel Bomber, aka Big Sexy. You're watching Sports Nikon. Right, so I've got a real Geordie on the phone, not a fake one like me. I've got the Benwell Bomber, Joseph Laws. Come How are on. you? <laughs> <laughs> How's everything going? Damn! Go, man, me there. Feeling good, man, feeling good. You weird sound, so. What systems go for next week, really? Oh, fantastic. And how's um, camp going? Yeah, well, uh, it's quite uh, it's quite generic. People are going, oh, yeah, trains went well, I feel good and all that. But uh, I don't want to feel well. Uh, trains been going amazing. When you coach Graham on the fat, uh, we've been working on new things, different things, and uh, I can't wait just get in the ring and show everybody what, what I'm about on the big stage and on the big scale. <laughs> Oh, excellent stuff. Now, Matrim have you down as welterweight, but boxerweight has you down as super welter. Um, I'm actually super lightweight. <laughs> are you super lightweight, are you? Yeah, well, when I fight for titles, I'd be fighting at 140 pounds. Uh -huh. my, first, my first fight, I weighed in 147, uh -huh. but my kid was, but my opponent was like 150. <laughs> so that's why my first one was classed as that. In my second fight, I woke up 154 and I got told my opponent was uh, heavy. So I weighed nothing like 148. That was after like a, a day full of fluids and food. So, uh, <laughs> so when I fight with tires, I'll be 140, which I think is super lightweight. Okay, so you reckon that uh, super lightweight will be your weight going forward then? I can stone. But obviously, if I'm fighting same day wins and all that, I'll be like 145, uh, etc. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic. I mean, the uh, super lightweight division is stacked. Oh, it is, I Stacked a bit. Yeah. Got that uh, Jack Carroll and Oha Davies fighting on the weekend. Yeah. That's going to be a... That's going to be a cracking fight. Who you got? Pooh. I think Jack Carroll, you know, uh, Davies can bang. Like, we've seen that he can bang. But I think Jack Carroll, I think he's just going to... I think he's going to weather it. Well, the early storm, he's going to come on strongly later on, but like I say, that, <laughs> that theory is going to bang, so <laughs> it's going to be interesting one to call me a foot. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's going to be a good one. I mean, obviously other top lads around um, your weight division, Josh Taylor, obviously he's in the World Boxing Super Series. Oh, he's, he's, he's quality, him. He's quality, Josh mm. Taylor. Yeah, he is. When um, he got voted uh, Britain's best boxer of the year, do you agree with that? Uh, I do actually. Uh, the performance against Davies and and the performance against um, Victor Pascal's last fight was just yeah. was a crime fight, and uh, I think that fight showed people that he's uh, he's ready for the world. Um, he's ready for the world on us because that that Victor Pascal's no more going to have a crime fight with him. So I I do I. Oh, definitely. I mean, I was actually going to ask you because I thought maybe you'd be at welterweight. I was going to ask you about a future fight with um, you and Josh Kelly, but we can switch that to Glenn Foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I had a fight with Glenn Foot, I want a shield, two pats, and a uh, and a three man backup. <laughs> he's, uh, he's good though, isn't he? Oh, he's he's tough as nails. Uh, he's done great. Uh, he's won the Commonwealth class, and he's fighting for the British on the the same bill as me. Yeah. And, uh, I was going to be a crack and fight him and that Robbie Davis Jr. And I think he's going to stop him. Yeah? I uh, I think so, like. Ah, yeah. I do like him. I do like Glenn Foot. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's proper tough, as you say. Didn't get as long as, uh, what you call it, that Robbie Davis is big and he's strong and all that, but uh, mm -hmm. Glenn Foot just shows up on the night. He does, like, in uh, he's two and a half of this one, so I think he's going to smash him, like. Yeah. Hopefully, anyway, fingers crossed, I'll be shouting for him. Yeah, definitely. Have you uh, sparred him? Or trained no, him? No, no, I haven't, nah, I haven't sparred him, but uh, I know people who have sparred him, and uh, he's a real deal, like, he's, he's tough as nails. He is, he is. I mean, would you say that uh, Josh Taylor's got like a better chance at the World Boxing Super Series than, say, Terry Flanagan? I'm, I'm good friends with Terry Flanagan, so I want to say no. <laughs> <laughs> Both you after, didn't you? No, um, I think same again. I think Ty Flanagan. I think he just came up against that American, and I, I don't think people know how good that hooker is. He's a, uh, mm -hmm. 
he was a quality kid in there. That was a great fight. So I think uh, I think him and Josh Taylor would be cracking fight like two southpaws of the. Uh, yeah. Nope. They got to watch right. But hopefully they uh, they meet at some point. Ah, uh, yeah. I'd be good like on it. Yeah. So. Going back to um, your debut, because um, you're two and zero at the minute, and uh, you made your debut in July, and uh, you had yeah, two yeah. fights in July. So this would be number three. Yeah, this is my third one. So, so your debut was at the Stadium of Light in Sunderland. Aye, aye. Did you wipe your feet when you come back into Newcastle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aye. <laughs> but it was really um, a great place to have my first fight, considering most of my supporters of Newcastle. But uh, I yeah. can't grumble. It was a uh, it was a main show, uh, to be fine in the stadium, now nah, on my first fight, I loved it. Yeah. I think I sold off over 300 tickets, oh. 900 tickets, and uh, that machine was just mint. I loved it, and uh, obviously I got the knockout in the third round, which is I was, uh, which was always a bonus like. Yeah, definitely, and uh, you made the guy quit in the, in the next one. I uh, did, I, the um, next one was at Real Meadows, and it was my first my first televised show, yeah. and uh, to be honest, my first fight, I didn't box well, so me and Graham, the uh, coach ran back, we sat down, and we, uh, and we took things back to basics, working my job, using my boxing more, because people are saying I can fight, but mm. I've got a pretty good amateur career, and I can't box, and most of your success has been for me boxing, so my second fight, I just, I just wanted to box more, and we had my job, yeah. and that's when, um, and that's when that body shot came. Yeah, when I used my boxing head, and uh, it was much better performance. I mean, um, what was it that uh, got you into boxing? Uh, I was a fat, I was a fat kid at school, <laughs> and uh, my, my brother boxed, my dad boxed, my granddad boxed. So I was around boxing. And I was in our gyms from like from when I was ten, like uh, training for a month, then doing football, doing this, doing that. As you do when you're young. Yeah. And uh, I remember my brother had his first amateur fight, and I went and watched it. And it had an absolute war, and uh, I came back and I, I took it up. I think I was about f about thirteen, and I started uh, training out of Granger Park, mm -hmm. which is the club where my brother and my dad box for, and I had a. Uh, Certain fights there, and I moved to Burley, which I've which I've stayed ever since. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, like, like a proper um, Newcastle lad. So obviously, you'll know that um, Newcastle is a footballing city more than boxing. But do you think maybe that uh, the likes of you and Lewis Ritson, etc., could maybe fifty years down the line be spoken in the same breath as say Jackie Milburn, Huey Gallagher, Alan Shearer, Peter Beardsley, Cheryl Cole? <laughs> that'd be the that'd be the dream, like well. I don't see why not. Like a few, a few years back, um, I can't remember the last big boxing event where the Metro Radio held. Uh, mm -hmm. Last year, I mean, uh, last year, just a few months ago, Louis Vuitton fought. It was about six thousand people. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, he's fighting. Um, well, we're fighting now in October, and that's going to be a sellout. So, yeah. a few more fights down the line. Who knows? Yeah. We could. Um, we could sell St. James's, you know, so that'd be mint now, wouldn't it? St. Right. James's, fuck now. Oh, man. <laughs> man. I'd be, oh, be deadly, that. Oh, wouldn't it just? Wouldn't it just? You and uh, Richardson as uh, co-headliners. Oh, well, uh, we've got Tommy Ward coming up. He's yeah. fighting for the, uh, for the world title eliminator. Glenn yeah. Foote fighting for the British. So I think, whew, Yeah. The top ten... The top ten um, headlines of the card could be... Could be potential great fights. We've got even Josh Kelly, yeah. Lewis Ritten, Glenn Fuss, Tommy Ward. Yeah. North East Boxing is booming in the minutes and uh, it's just going from strength to strength. Well, it is because, um, I mean, I was born here in uh, Newcastle but um, spent quite a deal away, hence the uh, lack of George accent. But obviously, I moved back and uh, when I moved back, uh, probably what, uh, two and a half, three years ago, yeah, yeah. nobody knew anyone outside Joshua. And I thought, oh, oh yeah. man, I'm like uh, the only boxing fan in the city. This is going to be a struggle. But then you lot just come through. Uh, it's, uh, and I think in the next few years, we're going to get loads of big stars coming out, especially um, my club early because the talent there is just unbelievable. Mm. We've got the likes of the McCormick twins, Callum French, Tommy Hodgson, Mark Dickinson, Ben Reese, and the list goes on. And uh, 
I think in the next few years, especially after uh, after the 2020 Olympics and all that, yeah. when a few more two and four, where I'm going to um, make some noise, Wally. Oh, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that. I mean, I'd love um, boxing to really take off in Newcastle. I really would. Or the North East in general. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I mean, we've got the town foot. We've got the stadiums. We've got the football arenas. I mean, I mean, we've got the arenas. We've got the football stadiums. So, uh, so why not? Know what I mean, yeah. We've got the talent. We've got the boxers with the titles. We've got the boxers like me, who's uh, who's worked me up. So there's mm. no reason why in a few years' time. We can't be like down London, selling, selling yeah. Wembley out, you know what I mean? Oh, that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? I mean, um, I mean, my mum always said, um, <clears throat> um, before I moved back to Newcastle, because my wife was like a little bit uh, nervous about moving up to Newcastle, because um, it's cold. It's not, it, I know the weather's not different, but um, I mean, uh, my mum was always say to her, um, it's, it's, a, it's actually the friendliest place in the world. And oh, it, is, I. it really is. It really is. But, I mean, everybody just supports everybody because we've seen that at um, the press conference that you had for this one. Oh, that was, that was amazing. And even uh, Louis Vincent Box on the show a few weeks later on the Anya Campbell, yeah. uh, that press conference, that even seeing uh, um, how my support in my first press conference was just uh, was out of this world and it was. Uh, yeah. You mentioned me name. And I had like had me nana had me nana up on um, on seats, uh, my cousins, really my aunties, uncles, yeah, all my pals, and I just got uh, like going berserk. But uh, I loved it, like it was meant. Yeah, I mean, when I was sat there with uh, my uh, my little lad. I couldn't do any interviews that day because my little boy, and um, I was sat there, and the noises are ripping. I was like, what is going on here? <laughs> it was absolutely <laughs> fantastic. But I think. That's what um that's what it's about, man. Like uh like my idol growing up was Ricky Hatton. Uh -huh. and the way uh, the way he had his supporters like fly over Las Vegas, the traveller watched him, he was filling out the arenas like for British titles and all that and uh, I think that's how it should be because uh boxing is an entertainment sport at the end of the day. And if you've got the people to back you, the world's mm -hmm. limit. So I'm buzzing to be honest. Well, definitely. I mean, this goes back to what I said about uh, the North East in general, and Newcastle is a real community, so if anybody tries to do something, you're always going to get support. Oh, definitely, definitely. Absolutely, love it. I mean, um, so, you're fighting at the Metro Radio Arena. Aye. Uh, um, so that'll be on, on October the 13th, and it's a yeah. very, very stacked card, isn't it? What a fantastic card. Oh, it's, it's got me a cotton card. We've got, like, a loser with the game for Dave Allen. Anthony Fowler had just been added to the bill. Yeah. Um, Diamond Villili, who yeah. else we got? Uh, we got top of that card in there. It's kind of. I can't wait for my fight, and I can't wait to watch the fight after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, I'm buzzing for I'm buzzing. Although you're you're about halfway on on the bill, aren't you? Well, yeah, I I think so. Like, cause uh, I think I've sold only a thousand tickets so far. So, uh, Blimey. I think I'm like half of the bill, I think, so. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, we've got the return of, uh, Jose Burton, who was born in Newcastle. Um, yeah. The uh, cousin of, uh, Tyson Fury, so, so, like, he's coming back. There's no opponent yet, but it'd be good to see him mm. as well. Now. I see that. I'm sure, I'm sure I've seen them box against, uh, that Felix Cash down in London years ago. Yeah. He had an absolute war for him in the Gina, in the Gina ABA finals. Uh -huh. And that was a cracking fight. That was a proper cracking fight, that. Yeah. I mean, Jose Burton is a brilliant fighter. I mean, he did oh, well. Yes. I mean, he did brilliant, um, against, uh, Frank Buglioni until the very final round, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> <for him. laughs> he still game though, wasn't he? Like, uh, yeah. if, he stuck, if he stuck to his boxing, he could have hacked out, but, uh, what a hawk hunt. <laughs> he is. What a hawk hunt, mate. He really, really is. Now, your opponent, Chris Attaway, what do you know about him? Um, not much, like, to be honest. Uh, from Plymouth, uh, he's, he's force for 40 or 50 fights. Yeah. Typical gentleman, coming in a spot with you. Uh, well, he's very tough. Yeah, yeah, he is. I don't think he's been stopped. If he has it's been like once or something, uh, so I'm just, I'm just going to concentrate on me boxing. That's it. Getting the win. Definitely, definitely. And uh, John Doherty, he's making his uh, pro debut as well. The Doc, ah, uh, yeah. He's made his pro debut in there. Uh, I've spotted him, him in amateurs and all that. Uh -huh. He came up um, 
he, he's came up early, spawned a few eggs, and what a talent. He's a... Uh, he won gold at the, at the World Games and then he came for a match room and like I said, just, uh, he's a quality kid yeah. and I'm looking forward to seeing him in the full ranks as well. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I mean, um, are you signed to match room? No, no, I'm saying with Phil Jeffries, he's been more at manager, I have not Okay. Okay. I mean, so, I mean, this card, I mean, um, do you know much about um, Lewis Richardson's opponent, Francisco Patera? Yes, I've seen him fight Smash and uh, I think I think we'll give it a draw today. I'm not too sure uh-huh. when, the, when he fought Smash Dodds. But uh, no, I think I think Smash and got it, you know. But uh, I thought personally he beat Smash, so yeah, he, he's, he's a good tough. kid. Very uh, tough, he, he's a good kid. I see him in the press comments. He's big for the weight, but I think uh, I think Ritz and size and strength is going to be a factor, and he's a uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I must admit, I was a little bit concerned when they put Lewis on the uh, the Amir Khan card because I was more. Yeah. I wasn't concerned that he wasn't going to win. I was concerned that he's going to get cut and. Cut you know, hands, I. But uh, Richardson's teak tough. He yeah. boxed at Amir Khan at seventy one kilo, then he boxed at sixty nine kilo, and he's fighting. And he's fighting now with sixty one point three, and yeah. uh, he came to mind a few days ago. Yeah. And, uh, he was buying a few tickets off us and I had a bit of crap off him. And he's a big old lightweight. Like, <laughs> no, just when you when you touch him and feel him, he's solid. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, that's your 61 <laughs> kilo. I'm like, yeah. fuck, I'm 64, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, 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 you actually did like a bit of sparring with him then? No, no, no. Um, he came to buy some tickets off us. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like a Lewis, he's like a real nice lad and, um. Oh, yes. I mean, like, fun, nice lad. Yeah, I mean, like, since he started uh, training back with his dad, Dave, again, his career's just soared. Definitely. Came from nowhere, hasn't it? Like, just... Yeah. He gets that chance um, to fight Robbie Barrow for the British title, Max, and, and the next thing you know, boom, 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 boom. He's, yeah. uh, he's inches away from fighting for a world title. I'm buzzing from, to be honest, like, I'm buzzing. Yeah, definitely. De- definitely. And like I said, uh, hopefully the likes of uh, you and Lewis can uh, get cracking on at St. James's Park one day. And uh, the way the things are going, it could definitely happen. Definitely. So anyway, your fight, um, obviously October 13th. You've got some tickets left? Yes, I've got tickets, but they're running fast. Like, literally, I've not been this stressed doing tickets in all my entire life. Bloody, I think I've done, I've done close to a thousand and I've done them all myself personally. Wow. Trying to little cab, I can't go. <laughs> Dropping tickets off there, uh, meeting people here. And uh, I was making a list for the first few hundred, but now after 500, I'm like, yeah, I'm not even going to make a list. <laughs> and I haven't done my final count ups, and I now have a thing for the weekend, but I did my final count ups. The money isn't going to match the tickets, and I'm going to be stressed a bit. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get them in the end, and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got a few 40s left. I, I've got two. Two, uh, two VIP lefts, so if anybody wants tickets, give the match on Facebook, my name is Joseph Laws, on Instagram, my name is Lawsy7, L-A-W-Z-Z-Y-7, and uh, if you want tickets, just give the match seriously. Oh, no worries, so in the uh, description box of this video, um, I'll put a link in, so so anybody's on Instagram, etc, just click it and go straight away to you. So Fantastic, and also... Anybody who's watching this, follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, and me next fights, me 4, 5, 6, 7, if you want tickets, come through me, and I'll come personally, me cab, I can know, I'll shake your hand, and I'll give you a little dance as well. That's it, <laughs> that's it, and I'll throw a selfie and autograph the back of the ticket, that'll be good. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. So, so anyway, so um, on the same night, obviously there's uh, Catrell versus um, O'Hara Davis, and next weekend, are you watching the next Match Room show? Um, what's that? Oh, sorry, this weekend, the uh, the uh, Chicago card. Oh, yes, um... Callum Johnson. Um, the Callum, Je, um, Callum and that, Baby Tiff, whatever you call him. Mm-hmm. That's, you know what? There's not a kid who I want to win more than Callum. Like, um, i seen his video, know about his dad and all that, passing yeah. away, and it was, his, uh, it was his dream and all that, and I, I wish he lands that right hand or that left hand and puts him away. But it is going to be a hard feat, but yeah. then the day of boxing, we've all got two hands and two feet. So That's I it. think if he's, if he's trained right for he's trained hard, which he always is, we know he can bang. I hope he can go, I really hope he can go in there and, uh, 
and pop up so like I'll be bounce I'll be bouncing up and down with sitting with us. Hi same as same as I mean as I said there that's a better be ever. he's a bit of a beast and very, very avoided. So Oh he is. He's he's quality he's quality he is. Yeah. But uh don't don't underestimate us Englishmen because Yeah. I mean a small country where we are like a tough tough breed, like uh people People go on about the Americans and this and but yeah. Also, the Brits are hard as nails, but also exactly. And we will travel. I'll be flower there and there and bring back a tie, like yeah. I'll be buzzing, maybe oh. Yeah, same as, same as. What about uh, Gavin McDonald? Have you seen him much? Who? It's a uh, Gavin McDonald. He's taken on um, uh, Roman on the same card. Yes, um, it's super. Is that is that the pattern with? Yes. Yes, uh. Both at McDonald's are just two. The both fitness fanatics. The star from the first belt and the don't stop full punches of it. No, that's right. And the math, the massive for the way as well. I seen that Jamie, I seen that Jamie McDonald in uh, it, uh, at the last win when Richard Ford was at that. Oh, yeah. And I seen him in TJ Fridays in a big rack of ribs. Okay. And uh, <laughs> he's big on me. Yeah. I'm like, eh, I'm like, how do you make eight so whatever? And uh, I'm like, fuck now. He's big, like. He is, he is. I mean, it's unfortunate for uh, Jamie's last fight against Anuay, but Anuay is an absolute animal. Oh, he is. I think he's going to be the next, uh, the next superstar on my way, to be honest. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, could well be. And, and there was rumours that Jamie had a bad weight cut, so that didn't help either. But, yeah. uh, no, I agree. And, um, obviously there's um, another one in America as well. I mean, would you fancy going to America at some point and fighting on a matchroom show, or...? I would love that, I would love that. Uh, every, every holiday I go on, I always pack a gum shield and, yeah. and I always find a gym and do some spawn over there. And uh, if anything, it just, it, it's experience and it adds character. Like, uh, if you can go to these hostile gyms and spar and when they can't even speak English, they're trying to kill you. <laughs> and hopefully one day, I want to be fighting over America and all that. Hopefully, uh, all that experience spawn different gyms and all that and and mm. and I think they'll, uh, they'll pay dividend, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we'll be watching the uh, the card in a couple of weeks as well, uh, with Billy Joe Saunders and uh, Demetrius Andra. I will I in uh, I think I think it's a hard time for Billy Joel, but I think when I think when Billy Joel gets his boxing brain on, no one can touch him. He's a he's a mm. very, very, very skillful fighter. I think the the better opponent he fights, mm -hmm. the better the better he performs. So I think uh, I think these big fights is uh, is what he needs in the minute, like. No, no, I agree. I think that Tabijo Saunders is very, very underrated. I don't know why. I mean, his resume is stacked, but uh, people oh, seem, to, seem to overlook that. It is like. Yeah, but but hopefully he uh, gets through this uh, drug allegation thing at the minute. So. Aye. But uh, and. Uh, and lastly, what about Usyk Belly? What about that one? Are you interested in that? Well, I'm a, I'm a bomber. Belly was a bomber. <laughs> I, hope, I hope Tony Belly will throw that left seat of a lifetime and puts him to sleep. Yeah. But yeah. Again, it's going to be a hard, uh, it's going to be a hard fight. But uh, you can't, you can't blame Count Belly out because he's a uh, them two fights with David here. You had was absolutely cracking fights and uh, yeah. you asked for the power. And I hope he just, I really hope he, I really hope he lands on left hook on the, uh, on Usyk. But uh, like you say, that, that Usyk just, uh, he, so far, he seems punch perfect, doesn't he? Oh, doesn't he just, doesn't he just, he really does look good. But, um, I mean, sticking with, um, sticking with Bombers, you're not rooting for um, Jonte Wilder against Tyson Fury, are you? <laughs> nah, nah, I'm not. I'm a Fury fan, Mass I'm a massive Fury fan. He says how it is. His, yeah. his game is out, and I just hope he can go in there and just be him, be awkward, jab him, get him frustrated, and uh, get the job done. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, would you like to see uh, Tyson Fury against Joshua in April, then, if that happens, if it's possible? Oh, that'd be a cracking fight, that wouldn't it? Cracking fight. Uh, it would, it would. Or, I mean, or, would you be happy with um, Dylan White against Joshua? Uh, I was the rematch because I think I think when he fought him the first time, I think that just proves that Joshua can get hurt and Daniel White can hit him. 
And I think since then, I think weight came on leaps and bounds, he has. He has, yeah. And uh, he's, every fight, he's looking better, he's looking bigger, he's looking stronger. But I think now will be, uh, be a crank fight now. Yeah. And, and, this, and the same as Tyson Fury, that weight says how it is. So yeah. it's going to be good build up, it's going to be like, good publicity and all that, and all the countdowns. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. and the fight last thing was uh, was good to watch as well. So yeah, definitely. Although the last time I had uh, Dylan White on this channel, um, he said that the next time he gets Joshua, he's he's actually going to knock him out. So I hope <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> right. So anyway, so 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 for everybody, um, if um, if you can all click on the link in the description box and it goes straight to um, Joseph's Instagram and yep. uh, and the facebook and all that and uh, go grab all those tickets so anyway joe thank you very much for spending time with us and um good luck to you on on october 13th although i'll probably see you in the final press of next week anyway spot on me thank you very much and um i just want to say a big shout out to the burley boys back in burley all my muckers there uh, a big shout out to Bemmel, newcastle and uh, the bomb squad because uh, i got one of the best supports uh one of the best supports in business Definitely. Um, have you got any sponsors? Yes, I've got oh, two minutes. Yes. Okay. Two minutes. I'll get them up. I'll get them up. I will. <laughs> no worries. You do. Got a few sponsors I have made. Well, but oh. Yeah, but I just want to say a massive shout out to Kazi Group, Hydro Pro Washington, The Happy Hem, Safe Heat Energy, Apex Roofing Specialist, LA Taxis, in uh, Premier Nutrition. Fantastic. And uh, hopefully one day Newcastle United, eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and uh, one more. CRC, Kriaz, and Body360. There we go. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks very much, Joe. Right. Thank you, right? Appreciate it. Bye. Bye.